you know, we see Austin is such a diverse um, city and we saw so many mixed weddings or multicultural weddings and the idea is for you all to just share what we have, incorporate some of the looks that you see into your own style. It doesn't have to be a wedding, it could be an event, a private event or just an anniversary and make it different and make it unique because this is all global today. One is the hair adornment. Hair adornments are really big this season. Everything from small little clips to feathers to several things throughout. Um, our model here is wearing several hair adornments. Um, her hair is styled in a traditionally Korean hairstyle. And you can kind of see the different ways you can go with the hair accessories. Also, one of the other big trends this year is what we call in full bloom. So you're going to see a lot of brides with everything from flowers in their hair to flowers on their dresses. The floral theme has been huge this year and our model here today is wearing a traditionally African hairstyle with the flowers in her hair. The modern bride, which we also have an example of here today, her biggest trend we've seen this season is um, all about the neckline. We've been seeing lots of peekaboo necklines and cutouts. Um, when she gets to the end of the runway, you'll also be able to see the back of her dress. Um, Nicole Ritchie, I think, was the one who started this big trend this season. There's also several other trends you guys are going to be seeing. Um, Chelsea uh, Clinton started the belt trend accessories, so you're going to see that in a lot of the wedding dresses. The most important thing I think about when you're following a trend for bridal wear is to make sure it's just truly a reflection of you because, you know, trends are trendy and they come and go. So sticking to just one great trend that really flatters your body or enhances what you're trying to show off um, for your wedding day look, I think that's the best way to go. Thank you guys so much.